how to freeze peppers. At the end of the year, you know when your garden is done. If you're like Rob here, Rob planted a lot of Hungarian hot box peppers. Now you can do this to any pepper that you have. I've done this to my green peppers. In fact, that's the way I keep my green peppers. You see in the sink there, we have all these Hungarian hot wax peppers. In fact, we have an entire bag full. Was a bag. Was a bag. I made, I made a dent in them. <laughs> so what he's doing, he's gonna chop these peppers up. We have this hand, I don't wanna touch anything. Hot peppers. You're not wearing gloves. Not this time. Did you forget your gloves? <laughs> I poked him. <laughs> All right. What we're doing here is he's cutting these up. And we have this handy dandy zipper chopper thingy, dewy hickey. He's using this. Yeah, that four times fast. Or you can cut them in rings. It doesn't matter. Or slice it. Whatever you want to do. What, what, I've, what I've normally done in the past is cut them into rings. We have our little mandolin slicer. We slip them in little small rings. It works good, but I'm trying something different. I'm going to use this here and I'm going to He's making. Chop them up. He's chopping them this time. And then this is going directly into the freezer. You don't have to do anything to it. You don't have to pre-cook them. You don't have to anything. You just chop them up. Like wash he's doing. First. Well, wash them first. And he's putting them in this. And if you don't own one of these, this is like the best thing ever. My mom had this in her kitchen and said, hey, I don't ever use it. Do you want it? Yeah, I want it. So As he, you want it. He puts all the peppers in there and just spins this thing spin, around. Spin, spin, spin. Chops them all up. And what you end up with is dun, da, da, chopped up peppers and you can keep going keep spinning if you want them finer or don't spin so much and they'll be thicker when these are all done these are gonna be smaller so you got a little bag here already started so small they chopped up pretty good pretty good now here are my green peppers. I just basically cut them in half, took the seeds out and put them in here, put them in this bag, and I'll use them, you know, I'll grab a pepper out as I need it. Now what we do with these, we'll get them out of the freezer bag and then we'll make things like this. This is cowboy candy relish, a mock version of this. This is really, really good. That's with Hungarian hot wax. These are all Hungarian hot wax peppers I've got. And then peppers and oil. We'll make them, you know, out do peppers and oil with them. They'll be finer, but that's okay. We have some in the freezer that are rings, but you can do peppers and oil out of this also. Just a side note. This is peppers and oil that came, we keep it in the refrigerator. This was not pressure canned or hot water back canned or anything. You can't can oil. It goes rancid. I've tried. Then I learned. Several times. So we'll make, a, we'll, we'll freeze, get them out to make a few batches of this as we need it. Once you get this bag full, I will lay it down, flatten it out so that I can stack them in the freezer. We've also done whole tomatoes. Uh, last year, we did that with a whole box of tomatoes we got. Put the whole box, everything, right in the deep freeze. And then, uh, yeah, when we shot got six, you couldn't uh, do them. So that's what we did. You can freeze Hungarian hot wax. You can freeze all kinds of peppers and things. Yes. And tomatoes. Look in the description, I'll put a link in there. But anyway, we'll see you in our next video. Come back for more. Hit the button. Oh, hit the button. I, my hands are all booed up. Hit the button. Oh, yeah. That's the wrong side.